guys, look at you here, and this is Cat Snacks, where I show you super easy recipes to satisfy all your snacking needs. For today's snack, I'll be making you milk toast. <gasps> uh, look at you, what is milk toast? <laughs> well, you think it's just milk and toast, and you are correct. <laughs> It's still more special than that. And I guarantee that you have all the ingredients you need right now to spice up that boring toast of yours. Unless you're a college student that has nothing but instant ramen in your pantry. <gasps> I've been addicted to its soft and pillowy texture and the flavor, oh, so good, but We'll have to wait till the end of the video so we can eat it together. So let's get milk toasting. I trotted my way to a local bakery and caught myself the most perfect square slice of bread on the market. Thickly sliced, of course, to get that maximum pillowy texture, but a normal thickness will do too. Now I'm using my favorite Asian egg bread, but feel free to use any sliced bread of your choosing. But I don't recommend using whole grain because the texture and the flavor may overpower the dish. Slather on some gorgeous unsalted butter. We gotta make sure it's super soft and spreadable or else your floofy bread will turn into a tortilla with clumps of butter on top. I know, we've all been there. Even at room temperature, I find my butter isn't soft enough. With the heat of my hands and a fork, I'll just vigorously stir it until soft. Make sure both sides get a generous beauty treatment. I don't recommend skimping out on this butter as it's the foundation to this milk toast. Using it will help elevate that milky taste and give it a light crisp and golden tinge to it. Transfer one of these bad boys onto a pan on medium low heat and you'll know when the temperature is right when you can hear a light sizzle from the butter. I'm gonna immediately add on the sugar and make sure to sprinkle it evenly or else you'll get a sugary and gritty surprise once you take a bite. Place the other slice on top, sealing all that sugary goodness, and I'll pour on one to two tablespoons of our milk just to begin with. Our goal is not to fully soak the bread with the milk all at once, as that will lead to a gloopy and soggy mess. By adding the milk in portions, it'll give the toast the time to absorb and floof up properly. Once a few minutes is up, flip it over and wow, Look at that nice sunset encrusted onto our toast. Add more milk, making sure to also pour some onto the sides of the pan as it'll help steam up the toast and prevent it from browning too quickly. Let the toast slowly absorb all that milky goodness. And once there's no milk left over, I'll add in a slice of butter for good measure. This will act as our seal and give the toast that final crispy layer on the outside. Leave it to slowly work its magic, pressing down and flipping it every so often. Now, as we added our milk and heated up both sides, that warm milk will slowly travel into the slices and eventually meet up with the sugar we have in the center. They'll have a little dance party inside with the iconic Mixy Mix song and eventually dissolving together with the butter to create the perfect trifecta for a lovely, warm, and pillowy surprise. As you may have noticed, this dish is not for those in a rush. We gotta make sure to cook this dish low and slow. You'll know when the toast is done, when it's crispy on the outside, the edges a little darker than the rest of the toast. And when you give it a little squish, it'll still be a little puffy and bouncy in the center. Boing, boing, boing. <laughs> Once all the parameters are checked off our checklist, I'll transfer it onto our gorgeous wooden cutting board. Now I like to slice mine into nine bite-sized pieces, so it's the perfect size to poke a little toothpick with. 
tastes amazing as is, but when I have condensed milk on hand, I like to drizzle it on top. And this also gives me a reason to show off my fancy squeezy bottle. Wow, so cool. You could also use honey or maple syrup, but I prefer the light and malty taste condensed milk has. Oh, what time is it, Mr. Wolf? Snack time! Now let's dig in. So this is the finished product, and I'm super excited. All right. Ooh. Ooh. Look at that, gorgeous, just like you. First bites for you, mm, nom nom nom. Mmm. When you first take a bite, you get that light crisp. Then as you chew further, you get that nice pillowy, warm and gooey center. And the crust is nice and chewy. Mm. You could compare this to a French toast, but instead of that cinnamony, eggy flavor, replace that with a nice milky and buttery and it's just super comforting. Mmm. The texture is sort of like biting into a grilled cheese. Minus the cheese. <laughs> the flavors are exactly what you'd expect. Milk, butter, sugar, and bread to taste like. But I believe the star of the show is the amazing texture. There's so many different textures in a tiny little bite. You get the crispiness, you get the floofiness, you get the chewiness, and you get that lovely milky flavor. All right, so this gets like a chew stamp of approval. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I post once a week. And I'll see you guys next time to taste like it dropped. <laughs>